What's up, guys? All right, here's the deal. So this episode is going to be about me deciding to rent a car to drive to the Boutique Fitness Summit in Washington, D.C. Oh, wait, actually, it's in Reston, Virginia, not Washington, D.C. I decided to rent a car and just have a little fun along the way. I'll check back in with you in a little bit. By the way, I haven't filmed myself in a while. Hope I'm not rusty. If I am, deal with it. People calling me up saying they need a feature. Saying we can help each other, but I see the leeches. Get a credit where it's due, I ain't talking visa. But since you talking visa, don't say you won't pay me either. Did you catch that? All right, what's going on guys? So I am at Bethesda Row in Bethesda, Maryland, one of my favorite live, work, play projects in a suburban market that creates its own kind of downtown vibe with different tenants like Dry Bar and Kava and Lulu and Kendra Scott and Warby and all other, uh, you know, obviously there's a big component of uh, companies that were more internet driven, online sales driven, that are now opening brick and mortar locations, which is uh, a very big uh, kind of buzzworthy thing going on in our industry. So all of these tenants are gonna end up in places like this because it makes a lot of sense. It's a destination for people to come, shop, eat, be entertained, go to the movies, uh, go to Equinox, work out, go to Soul Cycle, go to Club Pilates. It's just fun to visit places um, every six months, 12 months, and see how they're changing. Um, but Bethesda Row is a great example of what a mixed use project should look like. It is a beautiful morning here in Reston, Virginia, and I am headed to get a workout in. And I typically choose my workout, obviously, depending on where I am, what I have access to, and this, but I do like to keep it in my routine. So uh, when I'm traveling, it doesn't feel any different than, uh, than being home, basically, since I'm in the backyard of SolidCore, I'm going to SolidCore in Reston, Virginia. What a great way to start the day. So I am here at Reston Town Center and what I really love about this development is the open space that they're able to use for concerts, people who live in the community uh, or work here uh, or come here to have lunch can walk into this open space right here and uh, just hang out, catch up. I think, you know, programming is such a major uh, component for mixed use projects. And, uh, and I, gotta, I gotta say, again, this market, Virginia, Maryland, uh, D.C. has so many more big open-air projects, again, especially for uh, an area that is not a warm climate the majority of the year. Uh, but as I was mentioning um, earlier on video, I'm starting to think that since a lot of these retailers are now consolidating a lot of companies going out of business because they're old and tired and not innovative, they're not offering a unique experience, um, you're starting to see a lot of the same companies over and over again in these projects. Um, and that makes me a little bored. Uh, another unique way to draw people is obviously uh, unique restaurant options. Passion Fish is a restaurant that I've seen in every one of these projects. I can't what? I can't camera? How come? That's a laureate. You know what time it is. Just say hello to the people. 
and them and their activity on LinkedIn, whatever it might be. Some things that help to do this are take notes in everything that you do, whether you're in a meeting or you're on a call. Your team is your team. You have 100 part-time people or 100 full-time people. Do they show up on time? Do they enjoy being there? Do they do what you need them to do and are they promoters, promoters of your business? Everybody's invested in their own way, so take the time to invest in them. All right, guys, so I am wrapping it up at the Boutique Fitness Summit and uh, got to catch up with a lot of people that I did not even know would be here, and that's the beauty of being out there and going to different uh, conferences like this. And we are out of here. <laughs>